On today's video, we're going to make a super easy, super cheap archery target. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you guys have heard me say this before, right? This is Knetter's Practical Outdoors. This is not Knetter's uh, McKenzie Target Team Realtree Outdoors, right? So, you know, wherever I can save a few bucks without sacrificing too much function, I kind of like to do that. And, you know, making these homemade uh, archery targets is one way a guy can do that. And all we're talking about here is uh, saving up some old towels, blankets, rags, uh, shirts, pants, that sort of thing. That's one thing we need. The other thing we need is an empty corn sack, all right? A little bit of electrical tape and a magic marker. And we can make a real good functioning archery target. You know, this is a, uh, a tote container of old towels and rags and some old blankets that we had collected over the years. But, uh, you know, if you haven't been collecting that stuff, a lot of times you can go to a thrift store and they'll take some of the, you know, not so desirable clothes and cut them up and, and sell boxes of rags. That works good too. But I think most of you guys can see where we're headed with this, right? What we're going to do is just start stuffing this stuff into this corn sack. All right. Towels really seem to work good. Old duck towel. And it helps to kind of unfold things, you know, kind of crumple them up. Pillowcases. Okay. We've got our bags stuffed pretty good, okay? And I think you guys can imagine the real trick here is getting this stuff compressed real well, okay? So you wanna shove it down in there pretty tight. But then what really does it for you is you take it and you just kinda of spin it down and get it really nice and compressed, nice and tight, okay? And we're just going to take our electrical tape and we're going to tape that down, okay? So that's keeping things good and compressed right now, all right? And the next step here is just to put a few bullseyes on it with a magic marker. It's a good idea to put them in a few other spots, right? You know, so you're not hitting your arrows if you're uh, aiming at the same spot. And you know, if you don't want to just shoot at dots, Sometimes these old corn sacks come with like, like a picture of a deer on it. So you could just like use one of these sacks and you could shoot at that deer, you know, and then it's like a 3D target, right? Eh, maybe not. But anyways, um, I know a lot of you guys are saying like, uh, hey, I'm, I'm shooting 300 feet per second or I'm shooting 350 feet per second. Um, you know, an old corn sack full of rags isn't gonna stop my arrows. But I tell you what, you might be surprised I'm just going to set it in front of this uh, block of wood so it doesn't tip over and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm shooting this uh, Parker Tomahawk, it comes advertised at 300 feet per second and we'll see what happens.
All right, guys. There it is. Didn't even come through the other side. Watch how easy this pulls out. Voila. Nothing to it. And I'll tell you what, if you shoot this up pretty good, you know, start getting a lot of rips in the sack, all you do, take the tape off, um, take all these rags out, shuffle them around a little bit, and, and put them in another empty corn sack, and you're good to go again. Um, it almost seems stupid, but this target really does work pretty darn good. And uh, hey, guys, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.